Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi stressed that settling ongoing crises is a precondition to create a stable international system, pointing to bold decisions needed to give the Palestinians their rights. The statement was made during his address to the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday. The President noted that the General Assembly convenes amidst many world challenges that need joint efforts to confront them. He also urged to lift Sudan from the list of countries supporting terrorism and asserted that it is time to adopt a decisive stance in dealing with the crisis in Libya. On another front, the President called on international funding institutions to play their role in supporting development projects in the region and asserted that Egypt has been working for decades to boost ties with Nile Basin countries, Egypt, uh, with Nile Basin countries. Egypt's participation in the UN General Assembly this year is of special importance in light of its presidency of the African Union. President Sisi met on Tuesday with French President Emmanuel Macron on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly session in New York. Spokesperson Bassem Rodi said that the President hailed the strong historic Egyptian-French relations. For his part, the French president affirmed that relations are supported by strong cultural ties linking the peoples of the two states. Radi added that the meeting tackled means to boost bilateral relations in all fields and also covered the latest regional and international developments and means of settling the Libyan crisis. The president also met his Hungarian counterpart, Janos Adar, in New York and the presidential spokesman also confirmed the head of state's praise of the historical ties binding both nations. This is the third summit since 2015. During the meeting, the president stressed keenness to consolidate cooperation and consultation on the international level and called for boosting bilateral relations in various domains during the coming period. For his part, the Hungarian president hailed the strong and distinguished relations and said that Egypt plays an important role in confronting challenges facing the region, especially terrorism. Still with the President's activities on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in New York, where he met Spain's Prime Minister to discuss bilateral cooperation. A focus was also made on bolstering joint coordination and confronting terrorist and extremist ideologies. The meeting also tackled several regional and international files of common concern. For his part, US President Donald Trump made a fresh attack against the Global Order Tuesday in his speech before the General Assembly, saying that globalists would not triumph. He called on nations around the globe to embrace nationalism and reject globalism, saying wise leaders put their own people and countries first. He also took the opportunity to denounce Iran's bloodlust and called on other nations to join the U.S. in pressuring Iran after attacks on Saudi oil facilities, but said there is a path to peace. The American head of state also put China on notice, declaring that the time of trade abuses by Beijing was over and called on the country to protect Hong Kong's democratic way of life, adding that his administration was carefully monitoring the way China handles the crisis there. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli asserted his government's keenness to support the private sector so as to achieve development plans. His remarks came during his visit to the Al Arabi Corporation's industrial complex and in the industrial zone of the Beni Suev Governorate. The Prime Minister also visited a technological zone project in the city, which also aims to expand technological methods in the educational system and boost youth skills. Medbouli also visited a preparatory school for girls, where he attended a class utilizing smart board technology. Six members of the terrorist Brotherhood outlawed group were killed in an exchange of fire with police forces during a raid on their hideout in the 6th of October city. The Ministry of Interior announced on Tuesday that the terrorists were planning to commit a number of attacks on churches and institutions, as well as targeting a number of police and army officers. The Ministry asserted that the terrorist aims were to spread chaos among citizens and jeopardize the country's security.